This demo shows you how to create atom feeds with Kix Transaction Server version 4.1 and the IBM Kix Explorer. Hello, this is John Dutson. <coughs> Before we start to show you a demo of how atom feeds will work, I'm going to walk you through some of the structures. First of all, if we want to resolve this atom feed URL, we're going to need a TCP IP service to find it Kix that will map the port number for the LPAR to this particular service within the Kix region. We then need a URI map that will map the URL, the second part of the URL, um, to a, a specific Atom service. This is Atom Q Personnel asterisk is mapped to Atom service called PERS Atom. And finally we need the Atom service itself, PERS Atom, which is defined as a collection and it's mapped onto a temporary storage queue called personnel data. There are a couple of other files that need to be created, a bind file and a config file. Uh, I'm not going to talk about those now, but they aren't currently available to be created from within the Kix Explorer. Here we are back in the Kix Explorer, and the first step is to create a TCP IP service definition. In that view, I can right click and say new and type in the name of my service definition, the group it wants to be installed in, a description and a port number and it's now there. I can now install that definition into Kix. I right click, select install, select the region Red Dev 41 I want to install it into and there we can now see it in the installed resource definitions. Now that I have a TCP IP service I need a URI map to map the second part of the URI to the Atom service. Right click new gets me the wizard. I enter the details, the name, description, the host, all hosts with an asterisk, the path I want to map, the fact that it's a an Atom URI map, and the name of the Atom service. The wizard is opened, I make a little change to the description and then I can save it and install it. As you see here it's ready installed when I refresh installed and ready to use. Two steps down. The final step is to create the Atom service definition itself. So from that view I can right click New enter the name, the description, and copy in from my clipboard the config file. This is the file that, with the bind file, helps to map the, the input data to the output structures. I select the type of resource I'm going to map the Atom service onto. It's a TSQ, I type in the TSQ name, and I've got to put in now the bind file. The bind file name and the config file name typically are the same, they just have different extensions. I try to save it and then I get an error and I realise that the Atom service type has been selected wrongly instead of being service it needs to be collection. Now when I save it I don't get any errors and I can now successfully install it into the working region Red Dev 41 where it's going to be ready now for me to use and there is the installed Atom service. At this point I can test my Atom service. I have a simple application. It's a web application. It comes as standard with Kix. It lets me test this RESTful interface. I'm going to uh, post a new record to the Atom feed and uh, I select the post method. I type in name and the other details and then when I send the, when I click the send the request button, you will see that the request is sent and I get a positive response back from Kix to say that the Atom feed record or the, the record has been successfully added to the feed. When I come back into Kix Explorer, I can now see that I've had some traffic on my Atom feed, which previously was empty and newly created. I think I've shown with this little demo that you can easily create and use Atom feeds with Kix Transaction Server 4.1.